As a video game collector, I've amassed a large collection of games. Whether they are the games from my childhood, system exclusives, hidden gems, or recommendations, there are a lot. Herein lies the problem of finding the time to play them all. Well, that's about to change. Play or purge. Welcome to the inaugural episode of Play or Purge, where I take a game from my collection to decide whether to play it or to purge it. First game I'm going to play is Jet Set Radio Future on the original Xbox. And this, my friend, is why you always check your discs to make sure that they work. Well, as you can see, that did not work out, and you definitely need to make sure when you buy your games, you test them. Unfortunately, that was a game that was purchased when I was in Philadelphia last year, so I'm not going to be able to return it. Hopefully, I can take the game and have it resurfaced, and maybe it'll work, and I can use it on a future episode. So the first game I'm going to cover is Voodoo Vince on the original Xbox. This is a game I've never played before. I got it from a local game store where I had trade credit and I was able to pick it up. I know that they're supposed to be doing a HD remake on the Xbox One this year, so I'm going to assume with that and some of the reviews I've seen that it's a decent game. Let's get playing. All right, let's give this a shot. Start a new game. Third best voodoo doll, Vince. All right. So it's giving me the gist of the story here. Always need to have a good story. So I don't have a lot of experience with Xbox games or Xbox 360 games. Uh, the controller is a little unfamiliar to me, but um, press X to punch. I just gotta get kind of used to the controls here. It looks like A is to jump, X is to punch. Makes sense. Press A to jump and then A again to double jump. Self-explanatory. Press A and then hold L to hover. Oh, cool. Okay, kind of like Mario with his tail. Uh, left and right. Can I not switch these? Okay. So now my left and right for my camera isn't messed up. What do we got here? Press B for spin move. Oh, cool. Okay. Press A and then press X to do a head slam. It's bonk. It looks just like bonk. Okay. Punch. I don't know what these are, but we're going to collect them. So far, I'm not minding this. Alright, I got myself a voodoo power. Jump in the middle of monsters, then pull triggers L and R to unleash a voodoo power. Ah, oh, cool. That just kills, it's like a super move. Interesting. Are these just bugs I'm killing? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, can I break pots? No. Can't believe they want a 10 inch voodoo doll to go be a hero. Some good humor in this game, that's for sure. Alright, okay, what were these things? I want to collect these. 100 dust bag gives Vince extra health. Okay, I like that. Mm -hmm. Lots of stuff to collect. Oops. Stand on the pad and press X to use. Action pads allow this one to not. Okay. So I just turned on something. These look like I'm fighting cookies or something. So am I supposed to jump in that thing? Looks dangerous. Let's see what I was supposed if I was supposed to do that. Uh, apparently I was? I'm okay. Huh. Okay, that would make sense. I just made myself a bag of flour. Oh, okay. Oh, sweet. So far it's okay. Um, I mean, obviously there's a little bit of uh, intro to the game before you play, where they teach you the moveset and stuff, and so far I'm enjoying it. Like the aspect that I can kill myself and that's kind of part of the thing. Hello. Extra health, yay. I can see that headbutt thing 
being a pain in the butt. There's no accuracy for it whatsoever. Okay. Both triggers all in order to unleash a voodoo power. Oh, crap. Okay, he one hit killed me. Apparently I wasted my power. All right. So I guess, is that my voodoo power up there? Must be. Ah, uh, there's my voodoo power. Okay, I got it, I got it now. So I looked up some of the reviews on this game as well, and it's got very good reviews. I mean, if the game wasn't decent, they wouldn't give it an HD remake, that's for sure. And uh, it was like an IGN review and somebody else, and I think it was like a... Uh, Four out of five and an eight or a nine out of ten. So I mean, it had really good, uh, really good reviews. And X. I'm assuming I'm supposed to run. <laughs> Very cool. What? No cash? The piggy bank. <laughs> okay. Chainsaw power, I like it. So, so far definitely enjoying this game. The, the platforming on it is really good. Story is, I mean there, it's a story, nothing too fancy. The controls are good, considering I don't really know how to use the Xbox controller that well because I don't play very much. Uh, I'm not having that big of a problem with it, so. So far, so good. Give it a little bit more time here and see. Okay, I'm done playing Voodoo Vince. Uh, this, very fun game. I enjoyed it a lot. I played a little bit further than the video uh, showed in, in the gameplay there, and I enjoyed what I played. There were a few spots where the platforming was a little tough. I think it was more so because the camera didn't want to work as well I found the image a little bit dark at points as well, but again, that could have been my TV or my Xbox. I was playing it uh, not on composite, but I was playing it on component, so that may have been part of the problem. The story was there, nothing too exciting, but at least there was a story. I like the collecting aspect of it, whether it was the spirits or the gems or your different voodoo spells that you could get. While playing it, it felt like a game I played before on the original Xbox, Psychonauts, and had a similar gameplay feel to it uh, with similar style world, graphics and everything like that, so it felt very similar to that, and that's a game I really truly love, so I can see why I am enjoying this one. Price-wise, still a relatively cheap game, so that is good, and it's easy enough to find and pick up, whether it's at a convention or a store, and you're not going to break the bank and picking this one up. So now is decision time. Do I play it or do I purge it? And I've decided to play it. I'm gonna keep this one in my collection. I enjoyed it. Eventually I will go back and continue playing it and it's one I would like to eventually finish or just put some more time into. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoyed what you saw. Please thumbs up the video and leave a comment down below if you did. If you're not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw. I have lots of other content out there as well. Thanks again, and remember to game on and game often.